Hello, my friends. Welcome to Curl Joe Corner. My name is Laura, and it is about time to start thinking about making our temperature blankets for the coming year, or sometimes people like to make them for special occasions. Well, I have 30 free temperature blanket crochet patterns to share with you today. They are all different, and they are all free and based from Ravelry.com. And if you don't know what a uh, temperature blanket is, actually you uh, pick out different colors of yarn for each 10 degrees, um, for like 10 degree segments and whatever the high is for that, then you choose uh, whatever the high is for the day, you choose whatever corresponding color is for that 10 degree um, increment and then you crochet a row for that day. So then you should have a beautiful blanket by the time you are done. But there are a lot of different ways to do this. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look after I greet everyone that's here. If you are watching the replay, thank you. And if you are in the room, I really appreciate it. And let's uh, go ahead and start greeting everyone. And uh, Dickie Crafts Jennifer says, hi, Laura, and everyone coming in. Hello, Jennifer, how are you? Thank you for being here, it's good to see you. And Cami says, hey, y'all, hey, hi, Cami, how are you? I hope you're doing good today, it's good to see you. Everyone's saying hello. Granny D's here. She says, how do you do, Laura and DK Jen and Cammy? How you doing today, Granny? If you haven't visited Granny's channel, make sure you do so. She goes live all the time, and she even has um, a segment where she reads to you at night, so you can have a little bedtime story. And Cammy and Jennifer are both saying hello to Granny D. I appreciate you guys all being here. And um, let's go ahead and start our temperature blankets. Now I do have 30 patterns to share today and they're so cool the way they do these. This one is called Linen Square Temperature Blanket by Tony Lipsy. And if you haven't seen Tony Lipsy's pattern, she does some beautiful work. So she's using worsted weight cascade yarn superwash merino on this blanket and a six millimeter hook. You need around 2640 to 2700 yards for this beautiful blanket. But I like it that it's not just stripes going back and forth. She does a square for each month. So that's really neat. And I really like the color palette she chose. That's one thing that's really nice is that you can choose whatever color palette you want. Isn't that neat? I love that. And this is available for free on her blog. As you can see here, it says available for free. So you'll scroll down to the bottom and then you click the link right here at the very bottom and it takes you straight to her pattern for the free crochet temperature blanket. So pretty. And Cammie is linking Granny D's channel. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that, Cammie. Hi, Bonnie, got knits and more. How you doing today, Bonnie? And Cammie's saying hi to Bonnie. Granny says, how do you do to folks that come in later? I'm going to get these hands busy while I see what Laura has to show us today. Awesome. It's perfect timing. Just sit and watch crochet while you crochet. <laughs> All right. So that is called Linen Square Temp Blanket by Tony Lipsy. Now this here is a free Ravelry download. And this is called Chevron Temperature Blanket by William Sexton. And this is using Lion Brand Trubu DK weight and a four and a half millimeter hook. You'll need around 3374 yards, 3,374. And um, I thought this was really unique. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So she just made strips and then sewed them all together. Wow, that's really cool. That's really cool. That's very interesting. And this is a free Ravelry download. So it's easy just to click this link right here and you can download the PDF right to your computer. Now this one is called Faded Fantasy Temperature Blanket by Esther mm, D-I-J-K-S-T-R-A. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that and I don't wanna do it wrong. And this is using fingering weight in a three millimeter hook. I love the colors of pinks. Here's the palette that she chose, first of all. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So she's got eight different colors. And they are all beautiful. Look at how nicely they fade into one another. Oh, that's gorgeous. <clears throat> Everyone's saying hello. Thank you for posting the link. I appreciate that, Cami. That is um, the temperature blanket from Queen Tony, Tony Lipsy. And Cami says, My pleasure, Granny. 
and granny leads cammy's channel yes we gotta um all subscribe to cammy's channel because he has gone live here in the past so maybe he'll start going live on the regular basis and um jennifer says cool or warm idea lol yes and becky d says hi laura and all busy day at work but i've been wanting to make a temperature blanket so i'm listening yay thank you for listening i hope you have a good day at work becky thank you for being here and jennifer is saying hi to becky <clears throat> I have a lot of really neat ones, things that I would have never thought about doing. That's what's, I love Ravelry. So this is for free. If you uh, scroll down to the very bottom right here and you click this link, it will take you straight to the pattern. It's all in a nutshell crochet. This looks like a cool website. I think I've been here before. Very pretty. And there's your free pattern. And then we have the corner temperature blanket, which I thought was really unique. And I really love this color palette here in the second one. But this is using Red Heart Super Saver Solids, air and weight, in a 5.5 millimeter hook. And it comes in U.S. and U.K. terms. So that is really neat. That is really cool. I like that. It's a neat idea. Here's their color palette. Really pretty color palette. And let's see here. Bonnie says, sitting crocheting a chevron super wide blanket while i listen oh thank you for listening in and it's a good time to crochet while you're watching crochet i don't know how people can do lives and uh crochet and talk and go through the comments i cannot do that i can't multitask i can barely walk and chew gum at the same time so here it is um all finished really pretty isn't it corner temperature blanket by marie biswell b-i-s-w-e-l-l and it is available for free if you craft, if you craft, if you click the link right here, it's called craft re at C R A F T Y R I E. If you click that link right there, it does take you straight to the pattern. It's not opening on my stream yard, but it is an active link. It's opening, but you guys just can't see it. Now I thought this was awesome. This is called temperature blanket by M B stitches using red heart, super saver, Aaron Wade, and a five millimeter hook. This is for free on their blog. And then, I like the way they put the uh, date. They made a chain and then they sewed that onto the blanket here of the date of the temperature blanket. Isn't that nice? Love that. And that is called Temperature Blanket by MB Stitches. Hi, Maritza. How are you? Thank you for coming in. It's good to see you. Jennifer says, I'm knitting socks while watching. Ooh, awesome. How's it coming along? Are you still on the first sack or are you on, on the second sack? And Jennifer says, hola, Maritza. All right. So now, let's see. This is called Temperature Blanket Squared by Heidi Filbert. And this is using DK weight and a 3.75 millimeter hook. Now, each one of these little squares is your, um, is your day. So that is 365 little squares, isn't it? Probably is. I don't know if it's 365. It's got to be. Oh, that's so cool. That's a lot of work. Wow, look at that. I couldn't imagine making all those. Now, see, look, this is cool. Wait, where'd it go? Now, this is where um, she does the center white when it snows. And this is the low. And then the second or the third row is the high. And then the, that's just the background color that she chose. So that's really neat how she does that. The, school, the center and the low and the high. That's really cool. And let's see here. If you click the link down here at the very bottom, it'll open up your free pattern. I love that idea. Sack number four. Awesome. That means you've got two pairs almost done. And Elizabeth says, hi, Laura, and everyone in the chat. Hello, Elizabeth. How are you feeling today? It's good to see you. Cammy says, hey, Mama Riz. And Jennifer is saying hi to um, Elizabeth. And so is Cammy. And Elizabeth says hi to Cammy and to Elizabeth. Thank you guys for being here. 
these temperature blankets are really fun looking. I've never made one yet, but it's on my to-do list. This here is called Ella's Temperature Blanket by K. Adolphson, A-D-O-L-P-H-S-O-N. This is a free Ravelry download, so you just click here. And this is using sport weight yarn and a three and a half millimeter hook. It is in UK terms, but I think it's just a few stitches. So you should be able to easily translate this pattern, I'm, I'm assuming. Isn't that unique? I love the spiral. Very pretty. And here's some more. Oh, I like this one right here. That's pretty. Ooh, I love it. There's a lot of samples here. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I love that with the silver. I wonder if that's when it's icy or cold. Hmm. But this is called Ella's Temperature Blanket. You know, these are nice so you can make one for your child on the year that they were born. You can make one on the year that you got married. You know, different things like that. So this is called uh, Ella's Temperature Blanket, and it's a free Ravelry download. And then we have this one, which is cool. This one is like a mosaic style diamond temperature blanket by Abby Kanabi. And this is using Karen Simply Soft Solids. And it doesn't say what uh, hook or anything like that. But look at this. Isn't that beautiful? I've never seen such a cool looking temperature blanket. I love it. Marie's this thing. Hello to everyone. Hi, Tina. How are you? Thank you for coming in. Tina Camper 14. And Cammie's saying hi to Tina. And Cindy's here from Lulu's Treasure Trove. I, ho I hope you're doing good today, Cindy. It's good to see you. And uh, Tina says, hi, everyone here in the chat. Everyone's saying hello. Hi, Sabrina. How are you? It's good to see you. She says, hi, Laura. Coming in to give you a thumbs up and let the video play as I get ready to go to Bible study with hubby and lunch. I'll watch the replay later. Hi to everyone and have a great day. Thank you for coming in, Sabrina. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing good. I hope you have a good day today having lunch with your hubs. Cammie says, I'm still planning a temperature blanket for Emma's first year. Ooh, that'll be nice. You can even make it, you know, like a small blanket. It won't take as long, you know? And Cammie says, hey, Cindy Lou Who. <laughs> I always think that too when I see her name. All right, so there's that. Oh, that must be some kind of a graph that they did. But, ooh, that's so pretty. And then if you scroll down to the very bottom, you'll uh, click the link, and it'll take you straight to the free pattern. And here is their color chart. And here is the directions. Isn't that cool? I love that. Now, this one is just called Temperature Blanket by Lullaby Melodia. And this is using DK weight in a 4 millimeter hook. Look at this beautiful color palette. I love that. Pardon me while I take a sip of my coffee. Oh, and here they have the colors that they used. Ooh, nice. And then here um, are some more colors for the cool. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Ooh, I love that so much. And then here it is. Here's the pink. And let's see here. This is available for free. Let's see. What, what yarn did they use? They use Style Craft Special DK is what they use. And then if you click on the link, it'll take you straight to the free pattern. There you go. And that is by Lullaby Melodia Temperature Blanket. And then here's one for Tunisian. I've never tried Tunisian either. And this is also by Tony Lipsy. She was the first pattern that, that I showed. And this is using Knit Pick Swish DK in a six millimeter hook. And this is all in Tunisian. Look at how pretty this is. And here is her palette right there. That's really pretty. Love it. Here's our here's our palette. These are very pretty fall colors. Ooh, so pretty. And I like when you make like different sections like that and sew them together. So that way it's not um so long. Because if you do it 
the original way. You just keep adding on. You've got way too many rows and it's just like a really long, awkward sized blanket. Now this one is called C to C temperature blanket, Mall 2018, a make along from 2018 by Esther, D-I-J-K-S-T-R-A. I showed her earlier too. This is using lace weight yarn and a 2.5 millimeter hook. Wow, that's crazy. But look at how gorgeous that is. Lace weight yarn. Woo. Let's see here. Let me go back to chat real quick. Tina says, Sabrina, have a wonderful day. And Jennifer says, hi, Sabrina and Cindy. Cindy says, yes, that temperature blanket is awesome. And Tina says, hi, Cindy. I know all these blankets are so pretty. And let's see here. And Cindy says, hi, Jennifer. Hi to everyone here. Hope everyone is having a beautiful day today. I hope you are too, Cindy. And Cammie says, Tunisian is fun, but it seems to me slow paced like knitting is. Yes, that, that's kind of the feeling I got on it. And I like to have like instant gratification. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Knitting, I tried it a few times. It's just not for me. Hi, Rita. How are you? She says, Laura, hi, honey. Listening while I work around the house. Hi, everybody in the chat. Thank you for being here, Rita. It's good to see you. And Roberta says, good afternoon, Laura and everyone. Hello, Roberta. How are you? It's good to see you. I hope you're doing good. And Cammie's saying hello to Rita. I appreciate you all. Let's just take a quick peek at this beautiful blanket. Ooh, look at that. I really like that. That color palette is gorgeous. I love bright colors like that. Ooh, here are some beautiful like fall colors. And here's the palette for that. Mmm. So pretty. So I hope you enjoyed that one. C to C temperature blanket, Mel 2018. And then here we go. This one is called temperature blanket crochet from Lion Brand Yarn. And this is a super easy one. And it's just single crochet, I believe, using a five millimeter hook. And they're basically showing you how to set it up. And then you can get it for free. If you click the link at the very bottom of the page, it'll take you straight to the site. So if you really want just like a super easy one, here you go. And then this one is gorgeous too. Primrose Hexagon Blanket Temperature by Sassy Sheep NL. This is in UK terms, but it's only a couple of stitches, so you should be able to easily translate it. This is using DK weight and a four millimeter hook. Isn't that pretty? I mean, once you make a couple of these little octagons or whatever these are, are they octagons? One, two, three, four, five, six hexagons. Um, then you should be able to remember how to make them. Shouldn't be too difficult, but look at how pretty that is. I like, it looks like they have some like little puffy stitches there, but that's a nice palette. Let me get back to chat real quick. Cami is saying hello to everyone. Thank you for that. Janice Erfler, Erfler says, hi, everyone. Hello, Janice. Thank you for coming in. And Jennifer saying hi to Rita and Roberta. Hi, Christy Yarnbarf. Hi, Laura. Hello to everyone in the chat. Sorry I am late, but my internet is acting up. Oh, boy. That's no fun. Everyone's saying hello. Thank you for greeting one another. I appreciate that. I hope everyone's doing good today. Thank you for being friendly. And Cammie says, I have shawl number, I forgot what number on in the corner while I work on shawl number. I don't know what number. I think it's like, isn't it 19 and 20? I'm thinking. Weren't you working on 19 last time? I think you were. Um, Zach says, hi, Laura and chat. I'm feeling better. I had a 24-hour bug. Oh, hi, Zach. How are you? I'm glad you're feeling better. That's no fun being sick, but I'm glad it's over with quickly. Maybe you ate something bad. You never know. A lot of times they say that you can get really sick from eating um, ice in fast food machine ice makers. And um, my daughter works at a fast food place and she says sometimes mold gets in the lines of the ice maker. So um, yuck. <laughs> That's why I stopped drinking the ice. And uh, Tina says, hi, Zach. Hi, Sandrine. How are you? It's good to see you. Sandrine says, hi, all. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're cheered up. And uh in a better mood. 
I know that you were upset there for a little while. And I hope you're doing good, Sandrine. And Tina says, hi, Sandrine. And Jennifer is saying hi to Zach and Drini. And Faith says, hi. Hello, Faith. Unique, amazing stripes. How are you? It's good to see you. And Zach is saying hi to Sandrine. So let's get back to our temperature blanket. This is by Sassy Sheep NL. And then this is for free. If you scroll all the way down and click the link, it'll open up the pattern for you. Um, of course, it's not opening on my um, on your stream yard, but it is opening for me. It does work. So then we will click Little Dots by Addie Van Norrell. And this is really cute. These are just um, what little hexagons. And then you just put the color of the temperature in the middle and sew them all together. That would be pretty quick. That might be faster than doing like the single crochet rows back and forth and back and forth. I bet you'd be able to get this finished quickly. I like that idea. And then it's for free. If you just click the link right here, it should open up for you. And it does, but it's just not showing you guys. And then this one I thought was really pretty. This is called 2023 Crochet With Me Temperature Afghan Cal by Elena Hunt. I think that's kind of like a mosaic almost, like how they're dropping the stitches. I don't know if you call it mosaic, but it's really pretty. Love that. That's a pretty palette, isn't it? Let's see. And this is by Elena Hunt. And they're using Erin Waite Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn and a five millimeter hook. You need a thousand to four thousand yards. And then here they have uh, the seven row repeat material list. And here are the instructions listed right here on her pattern. And then you can get the whole free pattern if you click the link at the very bottom. And that shows you exactly how to do this gorgeous blanket. Let me see here. Everyone's saying hello. Rita says, Cammie, that is awesome. All the shows you're ma all the shawls you're making, I bet they're beautiful. They are. The ones I've seen that he's been making have been gorgeous. And Cammy says, Well, I counted, I think, Friday, and it was like 17. So it might be shawl 17 and 18. Maybe you're right, Cammy. You probably are. You know better than me. And Cammy says, Thank you, Rita. And Jennifer says, Hi, Faith. Paula says, Hi, everyone. Hello, Paula Melford. Thank you for coming in. It's good to see you. And Zach says, my blanket is getting bigger. Yay! My blanket is getting a little bit bigger, my uh, mosaic blanket. And Rita says, Laura, I love ice. I did not know that about the ice machine in the restaurants. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. It's gross, isn't it? My sister used to get sick to her stomach a lot and because um, she used to always get McDonald's Coke. And the doctor told her not to eat the ice because of that reason. And then once she stopped doing that, then she stopped getting sick to her stomach when she would go there. Isn't that crazy? And uh, Jennifer's saying hi to Paula. Tina's saying hi to Paula. Paula says, how is everyone today? And how are you, Paula? That's the question. And Darcia says, hello, Groja Corner. Hello, Darcia. Thank you for coming in. It's good to see you. And she's saying hello to the chat. And Zach says, mine's not mosaic. I can't do that. It's really super easy and you could do it. I know you could. I know you could because it's only single and double crochet. And uh, Jennifer says, hi, Darcia. And Cammie says, hi, Darcia. Sandrine says, I'm ready to try something different in mosaic. Ooh, I can't wait to see what you do. I'm actually coming along on, on my blanket and you encouraged me to do it because I saw your, um, what was it, the roll, was it roll tide? Is that what, what it is, the red and white one that you did? It was so pretty. And I'm like, you know what? I need to try that. So um, let's see. Maritza's saying hello to everybody. Elizabeth says, I missed the reason not to eat ice because um, mold builds up in the um, in the lines of the ice machines, like at restaurants and stuff like that. I mean, you can eat ice at your house, but like at restaurants, it's not good to eat the ice because a lot of times there's mold that gets in there. Isn't that gross? My daughter works at a fast food restaurant and they, ha they had it in there. And she said, it happens all the time. Roll tight blanket. Yeah, that's it, Sandrine. I'm in love with ice, says Elizabeth. I have a portable ice machine at my work. Well, that should be fine. It's just the, the restaurants, like especially like fast food restaurants. It's, I don't think as bad at other places, but fast food, I think is the worst. 
And Darcia is saying hello to everyone. And Jana says, hi, Tina. Okay, let's get back to our blankets. Let's see here. I'm finally caught up in chat. All right, that was the 2023 Crochet With Me blanket. And then we have the 2021 Fiber Flux Temperature Throw. And this is using a six millimeter hook. That's pretty cool. That did the same, uh, the same concept where you just put the color inside a little tiny square. That would go so much faster than doing the stripes. I swear it would. And then you can make it as big as you, you know, not so long. It's very cool. There's her palette. Jana says, hi, Zach. Elizabeth says, that makes sense. And Barbara says, hi. Cindy says, that is gross to think that they do not clean the machines to the point of mold in the ice machine. I think they do clean them, but it just builds up in there. I'm not sure. Um, hi, y'all. Not meaning to be rude, just crocheting away. This four weight is really finer than DK. Oh, wow. Do you like to crochet with thin yarns? Because I prefer a thicker. And you're not being rude. You're just crocheting. And Darcy is saying hello to Cindy. Cammie says, hi, Riggles. Where's Riggles? Hi, Barbara Riggles. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pass you over. I did not mean that. And everyone's saying hi to Barbara. And uh, Faith says, I plan to do the linen squares. Ooh, cool. Cindy says, hi, Barbara. Darcia, hi to everyone here. Bonnie and all coming in. Thank you. Thank you for being so friendly with each other. Elizabeth says, hi, sweetie. Sandrine says, from now on, no ice in my drinks, right? Yeah, it's just like a, that's a hard no. And Elizabeth says, hi, Dorcia. Everyone's saying hello. Thank you for being here, everyone. I appreciate it. Elizabeth says, hi, Rita, my sweet friend. Love you. Cammie says, I know Barbara as Riggles. I know who Barb. I know who Riggles is, but I, that's why I went, where's Barbara? I didn't see her come in. Elizabeth is saying hello to Sandrine. All right. So that's the 2021 Fiber Flux Temperature Throw. And then we've got the Temperature Calendar Blanket 2016 by Jada and Stitches. I love Jada and Stitches. Um, let's see here. This is using Aaron Weight in a 4.25 millimeter. And it is available for free. It's a YouTube video, so that's easy to watch, a tutorial. And this one's really pretty. This is called the Lazy Waves Blanket by Deidre U-Y-S is the last name, using worsted weight and a five and a half millimeter hook. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Love that. And it's for free. If you scroll down to the very bottom and click the link right at the bottom, it opens up the free pattern. It really does, trust me. <laughs> Let's see here. Sandrine says, hi, Mama Riz. Paula says, I used to work at McDonald's. We used to clean the ice machine all the time. Yeah, they, they clean the ice machine all the time where my uh, daughter works too. But she said mold still gets in the lines. And like people that work there, they won't drink or eat ice anymore because of that. Because they've seen the inner workings of an ice machine. <laughs> it might not be like that everywhere, but I don't know. My sister's doctor had told her that years ago not to eat the ice because of that. So I don't know. Maybe there's good ways to clean it. Maybe there's bad ways to clean it. And maybe some places don't clean it like they should, you know. Bonnie says, I love to knit fine weight, but this was the only yarn I could find on the right shade of purple heather. Ah, okay. Yeah, sometimes you're limited when you only have certain size yarns with what color you need. And Maritza's saying hi to everyone. Oodles and Caboodles of Crafts. Vicky says, hi, Laura. Hi, everyone in the chat. Thank you for being here. It's good to see you. And Darcy is saying hi to Bonnie. Everyone's saying hello. Lurking today. That's okay. Elizabeth says hi, Maritza. Barbara says to totally clean an ice machine, you have to shut it down and clear out all the ice. I cleaned one out at a nursing home I worked at. Had to almost stand on my head to get the very last piece out. Oh, wow. That sounds terrible. That's a lot of work. No wonder why they don't do it because it's usually a bunch of lazy teenagers, right? And Darcy is saying hello to Oodles and Caboodles. And Faith says, who is thinking of doing a temperature blanket? 
I'm thinking about it. I'm not saying I'm going to do one, but I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I think about it all the time. All right. So that is called the Lazy Waves Blanket. And then we have the Quilted Temperature Blanket. This is a really cool one. This is using DK weight and a five and a half millimeter hook. It's free on their blog. So I'll show you that in a second. And this is designed by While They Dream. This is so pretty. Here it is up close. It's like tweed yarn that they used. That really does look like a quilt. Isn't that gorgeous? People always take pictures of their blankets outside because the sunlight looks so pretty on their blankets, but I'd be so afraid that they would get dirty. And let's see here. Here's some more little squares. That's awesome. That is a beautiful blanket. Quilted temperature blanket by Wild Day Dream. And then it's for free because it says free info and notes. Scroll down to the bottom and then you click right here at the very bottom and it'll take you to the free pattern. There you go. And there you go. And then this one I thought was really neat. This is called the Mitered Square Temperature Blanket by Kay Adolfson. Adolfson. And this is a free Ravelry download. Check this pattern out. DK weight and a four millimeter hook. Isn't that unique? Isn't that cool? I've never seen a blanket like that before. That is really awesome, I think. And let's see here. Rita says, Elizabeth, we shopped till we dropped yesterday. I bought yarn and a doll. I love your hipster bag you got yesterday. Beautiful. Awesome. You guys shopped together? Did you see her in person? Paula says, I think about it too. Oh, I know. I think about making one all the time, but one thing at a time. Jennifer says, hi, Vicki. Garcia says, that blanket is so pretty. Very pretty, says Cindy. And Cindy's saying, hi, Christy. Sorry I missed you. Laura, your Christmas Amigurumi video was great. Thanks so much. Oh, I'm glad you liked it, Elizabeth. It was fun to do. I love looking that stuff up. Rita says, yes, that looks like a quilt. Beautiful temperature blanket. Isn't it pretty? Cindy says, hi, Oodles. Love hugs to everyone I'm missing right now. I know I feel bad because I often miss people in the chat. You know, when I'm in other people's chats, I'm always on top chat instead of all live chat. And Maritza's saying hello to everyone. All right. So this is gorgeous. Just saying. Mitered square temperature blanket. And it is a free Ravelry download. So you could just click that. And then we've got the Mirage temperature blanket. Now this is really unique. This is in both US and UK terms. DK weight yarn and a 4.5 millimeter hook. And you're making 16 by 16 inch blocks for this. Now, isn't that cool? How pretty is that? That looks like spring to me. Isn't that pretty? And here, there is their palette. That's got to be the fun part, just picking out all the colors and, ooh, I need to make one. Now, this is designed by Button Nose Crochet. That's a cute name, Button Nose Crochet, DK weight and a 4.5 millimeter hook. And then it is available for free if you scroll down to the bottom and you click right here. And it should open up. There you go. There's your free pattern. Then here we go. This is called the Bias Granny Temperature Blanket by Tony Lipsy. Now I think this is the third one I've shown of hers. I need to do a, a video on her. And this is using Knit Pick Swish Worsted Worsted Weight and 1100 yards, six and a 6.5 millimeter hook. Here are the, um, the color yarns that she used, her color palette. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I wonder if she put the little white in the middle for the days that it snowed like the other one, like the other person did. That's so pretty. I would have never put those colors together, but it looks great. Let's see here. 
Camper 14 says, hi, Darcy and Elizabeth. Elizabeth says, Rita, yes, it was fun. Paula's dolls are so amazing. I can't wait to get my bags I ordered. Ooh, fun. Everyone is saying hello. Hi, Camper 14. I've missed you. I hope you are well, sweetie. Says Elizabeth. And Faith says, Tony does one every year. I need to um, check her out more often. She has some really great patterns. Really great. So this is called the Bias Granny Temperature Blanket. And then if you scroll down to the bottom and click the link, it will take you straight to her free pattern. Here's another pretty one. Temperature Blanket Year Long by Tara Marie. And this is for free on her blog. That is so pretty. Those colors remind me of Krista from The Secret Yarnery. She always does pretty colors like that. And here is her beautiful palette. And let's see. Faith says, you should, you should do a spotlight on Tony. Yes, I think I'm going to definitely do that. I might even do that Friday. See what happens. Thank you for that. And Rita says, no, Dawn had a sale on YouTube for beautiful yarn and project bags. Oh, man, I missed that. I was busy all day. Darn it. I don't think I was really even on YouTube yesterday. Oh, I know what I was doing. Oh, I was on my computer doing something else yesterday. That's why. But this is so pretty. I wish I wouldn't have missed it. I love to get bags. I'm addicted to bags. Now, here are some more pictures of this beautiful blanket. And here's the palette. I really like that palette. But I would want some yellows, I think, in there. So it's for free if you scroll down. To the very bottom and click the link and it should take you to the free pattern and it says how to make a temperature blanket and if you look really closely um let's see oh if you look really closely like it'll tell you 32 and above you, you choose a color and then 28 to 31 you choose a color so i guess it's not really um it's not really um every 10 degrees you can do it however you want you know you can choose the increments of however you want it's just your graph so i just figured they would do it probably every 10 degrees and this one is gorgeous linen pixel temperature blanket by tony lipsy dk weight and a 5.5 millimeter hook that looks warm Ooh, that's pretty You could even um, use your knitting machine and um, just crank it out as you go for like, you know, do like a week or two at a time and then just crank it out and change the colors and make like those long strips and then sew them together. You could do it like that too. Elizabeth says, it will be different depending on how varied your temperature is. Yes, you're right. You're right. Elizabeth says, Laura, I'm obsessed with bags. My hubby calls me a bag lady. Yes, I'm obsessed with bags too. And I have some coming to me in the mail that some like a company is sending me and I can't wait. I have no, I mean, I have so many bags, like I don't need any more bags, but I will still continue to get bags. I love them. Rita actually sent me a really beautiful bag. It's across the room. I'll have to show it. Um, I'll probably show it next time. And Faith says, it will be different depending on how, oh. Yes, that is pretty, says Paula. Isn't it though? Rita says, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Laura. I did I know I did not even buy a bag. I love the pink one Elizabeth got. They're also beautiful. Ooh, I want to see. And Cammy says, Mama Riz, I made so many bags from Jada that my mom yelled at me to stop making them, and she doesn't want her house full of them. Aw. I love those bags. You should sell them on Etsy, Cammy. <laughs> Elizabeth is laughing. You should make an Etsy shop. Do you ever think about that, Cammy? You do so much crocheting. Make a little extra money. So this is for free on her blog. If you scroll down and you click the link at the very bottom. And then it looks like she also, this is the linen stitch. It looks like she also has a YouTube video tutorial as well. So that's always nice. 
And then we have the Ultimate Temperature Blanket by Krista Lynn. Now, Krista Lynn on Ravelry is actually Krista from The Secret Yarnery. See? That's The Secret Yarnery. And um, she always does the most beautiful projects. She is so colorful. I love her color palettes all the time. She is so friendly. And her channel is great. She was my one of my favorite, favorite YouTube channels. Um, but this is, here's her color palette. And she always just has such a great way of picking out her colors and making a match. I don't really have that great of talent like her. <laughs> my stuff is usually like, whoa. And let's see, here's another one up close. And it is available for free. There's a video tutorial here. And if you click the link, it'll take you straight to it. And that is by Krista from The Secret Yarnery. Here on Ravelry, Ravelry, it says Krista Lynn. That is her name. And then we've got Temperature, Temperature Blanket 2020 by Bluebird and Daisy. This is a free Ravelry download. That's really nice. Ooh, look at that. They've made panels and sewed them together. And let's see here. Faith says, my mom is getting me a custom project bag for me for Christmas. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Ooh, that's awesome. Very nice of your mom. And she does this, uh, Faith. Yeah, doesn't she though? I love uh, Secret Yarnery. And Elizabeth agrees. Rita says, too cute, Cammy. Hubby always says, I don't need another bag. LOL. I love them. I know. I love bags. I love boxes, too. I'm addicted to boxes. I have so many boxes in my basement that are just empty cardboard boxes. My husband gets mad. And then um, I'm like, okay, I'll get rid of some. And then I get rid of a bunch. And then before I know it, I sneak a whole bunch more down there when I order stuff. <laughs> Elizabeth says, those colors make me happy. Oh, I know those pinks and those bright, pretty colors from Krista. I do. I, I feel the same way. And Paula is saying, hello. Cami, the Yarny Horseman says, exactly, Rita. We can never have enough bags, right? Never enough boxes, never enough bags. So this is the Temperature Blanket 2020 by Bluebird and Daisy. And that is a free Ravelry download. And then we have Temperature Blanket Diamonds by Julia Pezzi. And this is using a Stylecraft DK and a four millimeter hook. That's really cool. I like that. Very pretty. And it is for free. If you scroll down and click the link at the very bottom, it'll take you to the free pattern. This is gorgeous. Claudie's Temperature Blanket by Erin Terry. Ooh, worsted weight, five millimeter hook. You need 3,500 to 3,800 yards. Look at that. Ooh, look at this palette is so pretty. Let's see, they did theirs, uh, they did their, uh, what you call it, increments, zero to 15, 16 to 22, 23 to 29, Huh. And then snow was white. Very interesting. Pretty kitty. Oh, this is such a pretty blanket. Oh, I love that. And this is for free. If you scroll down to the bottom and click the link, and it'll take you straight to her pattern. And Rita says... Laura, I think if you go on her channel, you can still look and order her bags. Elizabeth, what was the name of the girl that was selling the bags? I'll have to go check it out. Meant to say see her bags. Yes, I will check that out. Are you talking about Don Aaron? Is that who you're talking about? And let's see here. Then we have this one. This one is one of my favorites. This is called Moss Square Temperature Blanket by Kylie Keller. And this is using worsted weight and a five millimeter hook. This is so bright and colorful. I love that. Isn't that pretty? She's happy. She's like, yay, I finally finished this darn thing. Yay. <laughs> it's gorgeous. And it's for free. If you scroll down to the very bottom and click the link, it'll take you straight to her free pattern. 
Very cute. And this is called Crochet Kim Birth Temperature Blanket. Ooh, this is pretty. This is using DK weight and a five millimeter hook. Isn't that nice for a baby blanket? By Kim Guzman. I featured her. I did a designer spotlight on her a while ago. And it is for free if you scroll down to the bottom and you click the link and it opens up your free pattern. And let's see, Vicki says, or Bridget, was it Bridget? And Elizabeth says, Paula, and she were on Dawn A's channel last live last night. Okay, I'll have to go check that out. And Rita says, yes, Cammie. All right, whoa. So um, I think that is it for the patterns. If there's any which one that you would like me to pull up one more time, if you'd like to check it out, I would be happy to do so. Just let me know. There's some really pretty ones on here. Let me know what your favorite ones are. My favorite ones would probably be, I don't know. I really like Krista's from The Secret Yarnery. I really like this one down here with the uh, Moss Square temperature. That one's pretty cool. I, I really love this one too. Let's see. Let's look at this one. I really like this one. That one's really pretty. I can't, I wish I could see it finished actually. So if you would like me to click on any one of these, just let me know. And I would be happy to show them to you. Cammy likes the second one. Oh, you like the Chevron temperature blanket? That one's really cool, isn't it? That looks more masculine. Very nice. That one is by uh, William Sexton. Very nice. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and head out. I've got some errands to run today. Life has been pretty busy. But um, I will be back on Friday with some more free patterns to share with you. I hope you enjoyed these temperature blanket patterns. Thank you for being here and spending time with me. And I will see you soon. Have a great day, everybody. Take care. Bye. Thank you.